today on the occasion of completion of 15 years of brain tumor center we are publishing this video it was a very casual dialogue between a patient whom we had operated about 4 months back and she had come for follow up today she came to our brain tumor center about 4 months back with uh, very serious symptoms she had headache she also had uh, uh, decreased memory and over the period of time she was finding it difficult to walk without losing her balance and uh, her mri was done and it showed a large one of the largest tumors that i have seen in our brain tumor center at pune and uh, it was resected uh, with the most modern neurosurgical equipments and uh, it took about 4 to 5 hours but we could remove it completely and today she is with us as uh, we can see here we are all very happy to have you madam because that time it was very difficult uh, for you to understand also what our other person is speaking wo bahut takleef hoti thi aapko samajhne mein ki kya chal raha hai yaadash bhi kam thi to aur drowsiness aa gaya tha she had become drowsy and the whole situation had turned into a very serious kind of a problem uh, so at the end of 4 months now she has come for follow up her mri has been done which is showing a complete resection of the brain tumor i will take this opportunity to give this message to everyone that brain tumors can be removed uh, completely in the present era of course there are different types of brain tumors so some are benign some are malignant in her case it was benign but though it was benign it was dangerous because it was huge and it was pressing on most important structures inside the brain we have to remember that early diagnosis helps in brain tumor surgery and for this our brain tumor center has published a uh, videos on symptoms early symptoms of brain tumors please watch those videos and uh, also spread this knowledge with the aim of preventing uh, the brain tumor related problems in fact today we also have our daughter with us she is a dentist herself and uh, actually she was the one who you yes. know diagnosed this uh, tumor and uh, so just uh, tell us in short how was your experience with the symptoms and how you felt at that time when it was so diagnosed there were some symptoms like uh, drowsiness and uh, like uh, slowness of the process and all not responding to what uh, we are saying and all so also memory came, problem were there yes, yes memory problem so i just came to know that there's something uh, going inside and there's something problem uh, related to brain i think so i went to one of the neurologists uh, so i went to him and uh, he suggested for mri go for mri and i went for uh, mri and then i saw that there is a huge tumor uh, inside the brain so it was a shock for you so yes of course it's a <laughs> shock for any of the family members especially looking at that uh, size of the tumor yes it was uh, quite massive in uh, frontal region frontal region uh, yeah. yeah and uh, i knew that uh, it's uh, it is surrounding the main the important uh, structures, yes, important yeah. structures and, all. and he suggested for immediate go for immediate surgery correct and uh, he told that uh, this uh, dr panchwar in pune uh, he he said that without giving a second thought please go go to him talk to him yeah because see we have brain tumor center here the aim yes, of yes. the brain tumor center you know what is the aim it is not just you know saying that we operate on brain tumors but then having all the facilities which are required yes, of course the modern facilities modern the most facilities important thing here. like that that day you saw being yes. a medical student you understood that uh, we have the navigation which can yes, take sir. us to the important structures uh, we have qsa which has got ultrasonic aspirator yes. mechanism yes, yes then we have brain mapping systems with us we have functional mri yes. so all these facilities which are inside the theater makes a difference and if you want to keep all the facilities at one place yes then they cannot be taken to different places you know because the cost of each and every equipment is very high yeah. so that's why we always say that brain tumor surgery should be a tertiary care surgery yeah many times people feel that are why this tumor is not being operated in our town but that is not the point here the point is creating tertiary centers yeah. like even in the america Uh, you, you will know that there are certain centers which are dedicated to excellence in a particular 
field. Mm -hmm. So even if a person has got the pro even if a person is from East Coast mm -hmm. and the center of excellence is on the West Coast, they go all the way to the West Coast to get operated for that particular problem. Because all the mechanism for that problem is there. And then the results are then obviously yeah. very good. So I was very happy that you know you understood this philosophy of brain tumor center and also we could help her. I remember her condition. <laughs> yes, sir. So can you describe her condition, how she was that time? Sir, we were all we under were, tension, right? Yes, yeah, of I mean, course. Uh, we were in very uh, tensed uh, situation. Like I didn't, I didn't knew that uh, I, if I could see her uh, after. So I, I don't know. I can't explain correct, it. Correct. We also insist that uh, such difficult problems, be it yes. a brain tumor, be it some other surgery on brain, it should be done at a place which is which is geared up completely for that surgery. Yes. Not, not at a place which is near to your house. That is a message that I want to give to the entire society. Wherever you may be, yeah, wherever service. you may be, you, you find out, uh -huh. you find out the center which is, you know, especially uh, has got the expertise which is especially geared up for that problem. Yes. Here in Pune, we have this brain tumor center, like we have MBD center also along with that. Okay. So we feel happy that you know we can deliver. Uh, with the modern technology and it is not one person's credit, it is a team that works. As you could see, we have counsellors, we have you know anaesthetists who are good at giving anaesthesia for such cases. We have uh, operation theatre technicians yes. who help us uh, in mapping brain. Uh, we have technicians who help us in uh, you know doing computer guided navigation during surgery. So it's a team, it's an outcome of a team effort. No, so we can see very a uh, lot of differences in her. Like she can walk properly, she can uh, talk to everyone, she can remember everyone. She is almost happy, normal, right? Yes, uh, almost normal. There's, there's nothing. Uh, <laughs> I'm very. If happy. you uh, remember and look at the MRI of the tumor, ah. you see uh, how big it was. Yes, it was. And uh, it was uh, pressing on the important areas of the brain. Really massive tumor, maybe of the size of a cricket ball or something. You saw yes, the tumor, yes, right? Yes, I saw, I saw. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> She's emotional now. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, sis.